Welcome back, this is Yama Jack with Sasha Key on Suicidal as Gunslinger. I have a sneeze coming and it's kind of messing me up. I haven't been able to sneeze though. Nope. It's still, it's still like right at the tip of my nose. Oh yeah, there we go. I got that sneeze out finally. It's been bugging me for like six episodes. Feels good to finally be rid of it. This freedom, this release, you know? I haven't played Zashiki in a while. I like this map a lot. Honestly, it's a good map. I particularly like how there are no rioters. No rioter boys. You are an alpha clot, I guess. There's no rioters, there's no bloats. All the bad boys are gone. I think I think the Edars even reduced chance of spawning. They're uh, they're all in all a pretty good uh, good map. It's the moral of the story. But we do get a scrape wave one, which I mean who cares? Just kill it. You know, kill it with your nine mil. It's fine. 9 mil is enough. You do get a bunch of... It's a bit of a cheat. It's a bit of an easy map, you know? A bit of a cheaty map, because you get your your crossbow right up here, and then... Uh, I mean, the crossbow's there, so you can kill the Scrakes wave one, I think, but... Who needs it? It's just a Scrake. It's just a Scrake. It's no big deal. It's just a Scrake. I have no idea what accent I'm doing, but... It's a fun one. I like it. I have no idea what these things are saying either. I wish I knew kanji. Kanji, hiragana, katakana, whatever it's called. I don't know, man. I don't know the written word of this stuff. I know, I know what Zashiki is. I can't s describe it, though. Like, I can't, I, if you were to use it in a sentence, I would understand what you're talking about, but I like... I can't translate it, you know? And that's kind of why translating is such a high-stress job. Because it takes a lot more to like be able to actually take a word in a language and then convert that word to another language and describe what that word is trying to say. Because they're, they're not necessarily direct translations, right? Like The grammar is different. The, the way things are handled is different. The, the words are different. Like There's words that just don't have equivalents. In, uh, in English or in uh, in other languages right that um, just don't like you could describe the concept of it right but you might not be able to just use a word like you can't be like um, oh yeah like this just means like spirit you're like well it's the specifically the spirit of this type of thing and this kind of like you know like there's just a lot more to, to translating something and like be like well he said he but it was a little bit more of a more formal he it was you know it was a this was this, there was some nuance going on here that you that that he doesn't really get because we just don't have that that same kind of equivalent um uh a word in english right so it's uh it's what makes translating a very stressful job. That, that's it's a. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but translators actually have. Uh, there's a lot of like laws around uh, keeping translators' mental health safe. Like they have to have breaks every like half an hour or something like that. Um, they have to have like they they have to keep a close eye on their mental health and and all this kind of stuff. Like there are a lot of things in place to to keep translators safe because it's actually a very very high stress job um, as you're you're thinking about the language and then the other language that you're translating into um, yeah anyway the moral of the story is I uh, I can speak a little bit of Japanese but not enough to, to really translate it you know and that's when I think anyway when you have like a a proper understanding of a language is when you're actually able to understand what it is and be able to like 
describe it. I think technically, um, comprehension is is when you're able to actually, like when you're when when you when you've shown competence in a language, that's when you're able to uh, like come up with your own sentences and and communicate your ideas, like your own ideas and stuff, like accurately, at least. I think that's when you've you've shown proper competence, but. To me, as long as somebody's able to describe what somebody's saying accurately, they have a, a pretty decent understanding of the language. Got D&D &D this week. It might be... actually... I guess it would be... let's see, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Be a few days ago now, but... It's, uh, it's coming up. It's been a long time since the last time I played D&D with these people. Which is my fault. This was my responsibility. They were, they were planning it earlier and I'm like, Nope! <laughs> not not going to be able to do that. We went from a, a Saturday to a Thursday, but the Thursday the week before was no good for me. It was, it was good, but I wasn't going to be prepared for it. I was like, we just... I need more time than that. Um, so we have to move it to next Thursday, which is like almost three weeks since last time we played. So it would have been just this past Thursday we would have played. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, one of the players uh, watches my videos. So I can't really say exactly why I look forward to it. But, oh boy, it's going to be a good one. Actually... I probably could say why I look forward to it, um, because it will have already happened by now. But I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. It's like uh, goodness gracious that that waving of the head, it works. If you're ever getting shot at by somebody, just wave your head around. They will not be able to hit you, guaranteed. Till they get slow motion, and then you're screwed. Um. I might be able to, but the thing is... Ah, actually no, I totally can. Because one of the things that I want to talk about is um, something that will be very obvious. Pretty much immediately. So they're, uh, they recently broke into this, like, um, uh, whatchamacallit. They broke into this, uh, like, legal office, like, jail kind of thing. Um, and they were trying to talk to this dude. They impersonated his lawyer. And they're like, yeah, I'm his lawyer. We're going to come in. They, they rolled really well in the, the deception. So I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll allow this. So they're like going in and he gets in. He talks to this dude. He's trying to figure out where the, the Stone of Galore is. And he doesn't use... He has suggestion spell, but he doesn't even use it. He just talks to the dude and the dude's like, you're not my lawyer. You're a robot. My lawyer isn't a robot. Right? Um, but he rolled really well in the deception, and the receptionist had never actually met the lawyer before, so she was like, Yeah, you, you rolled real good. You you can just you can go talk to him real briefly for, for a couple of minutes here. I'll, I'll let that happen. Um, but one of the things that she said was, Oh, you're not supposed to be here until tomorrow morning. The trial's not until tomorrow, right? So I made sure that they would be aware that, uh, you know, he was on trial the next day, right? Like, he was being taken from his holding cell and uh, taken somewhere else the next day. The following day, he wouldn't be there anymore, right? And uh, for pretty much the entirety of the last week, or for, like, a part of it, they've been talking about how they're going to break in the following night. And I'm like... That's not going to work. <laughs> He's not there the next night. It's done. So uh, it's been it's been kind of funny watching them talk about their plans and all, all that they're going to try and do to, to get this guy out of there. And I'm like, he ain't he ain't going to be there the next day. <laughs> that, that's why the lawyer is coming to get him the next day to talk to him and, and put him on trial. And then he's going to be taken to the, the proper prison or whatever. And, um... They just, I guess they missed it. They're aware that he's coming to get them tomorrow, but 
they uh, they missed that he was on trial, I guess. They didn't quite catch that part, and I'm like, well, I can't really tell them, so. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to handle it when he's not even in prison anymore, and uh, they haven't they go there and they're like caught for impersonating this dude and I'm excited about it uh, but I have to figure out I still have to figure out how I'm gonna handle it without making it like super unfun for them because like you you, you want to feel like a badass in, in D&D right like the players want to feel like they're accomplishing stuff not, not like they're useless like there was nothing that they could do right and since they missed it they'll obviously feel like there's nothing they can do but anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching would like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i will see you next time when we play monster ball bye bye